Good morning traders and this is your DAX daily review. So we ended up with a green bar but um, actually not what transpired through the day. Quite a quite an interesting day. Um, I just want to get this in level in here and then just pop across the four hour so we can just get pretty much that top in and then that bottom end there. Okay, this is the range I was talking about yesterday, and it's a range or flat top triangle, and you can see pretty much um, adhering to the flat top triangle at the moment. And the top is pretty messy, and the other thing is we do have diversions on on the top, or sorry, not diversions, but um, we do have momentum dying down. So you can see the oscillators pointing the downside, and we're just battling to get through this level of twelve three six five. Okay. Um, if we just move down to the levels we can trade, you'll see we've got to close above this bar and we've come back to test that, that break. Okay, now before we get into what we're doing today, again just look at this awesome oscillator here, it is messy. This is very typical of a range, okay. Up and, up and down, um, above and below the, the zero line. But that's very typical of a range, especially you know the awesome oscillator will always show this to you. And normally, what happens is you're in and out of the the Bull Williams um, alligator as well. So that's exactly what's happened over the last couple of days. So it's been one, two, three, four, five. So it's been five days already of this. But this is a consolidation pattern, and it is a consolidation pattern with a higher breakout to the top rather than the bottom. Okay. So what I'm looking for again is a, a pullback looking for the long still and you can see yesterday you know, we, we kind of gapped down moved up to close the gap came all the way down near the bottom of the the range but pretty close to trend line had this uh, pin bar off there wise man number one long entry off the bottom so as i said yesterday short off the top and let's just put a level in here Okay, there are multiple levels. You can see there's a level there. There's a level there. Okay, so you could have basically taken the short here down to the bottom and then got in long and got the long. Okay, so yesterday was uh, advice was to trade the, the range short of the top, long off the bottom, and uh, pretty much played out. You also could have traded a gap trade, although it was a bit of a messy gap trade, but it got there eventually. And what I mean by messy is if you look at the uh, five minutes or the six minutes chart you can see how messy it was uh, you know bulls made hard work of getting up to close this gap and as they got got there you can see everybody was waiting there for drive it down they drove it down and the other thing to bear in mind is on the lower time frames when you see these kind of gaps on the five minute chart uh, i'm on the six at the moment but you'll see them on the five as well there it is there and you see there's a couple here so what you're looking for is price to overlap the bars or sort of be um, sort of close at the one level and open at the exact same level. So not really counting the tails, everything else. So that's that's a gap. Um, these here are also gaps in my view. When you look at this big gap here, that's always an indication that price is coming back. Okay, same with this here. You can see there's a gap, price is coming back, price came back. There's a gap, there's a gap. So there's a gap, and these little five-minute gaps are always uh, an indication of serious indecision. Okay, um, so you see here, there's no gaps on this. You can see close, open at the level, close, open at level. There's a gap there. Okay, so there is a gap there. There's a potential for a pullback still, and I still believe that we do have potential for a pullback. So there was profit taking here. Even though we did break through, but look at uh, the break. The break's not really compelling. It's gone into a consolidation on the lower time frames. Okay, so what am I looking for? Still looking for longs. Uh, we could still be top of range. So this is the one the difficult part here because you know technically that could be the top of the range, um, the original top of the range, or you know that was this was the range so we've got 12 6 
12365 and 12347. Those are the two areas which could be the top of the range. So if this holds, so if 12365 holds, then we can argue that that's the top of the range. Um, if it does pull back into 12347, that's definitely, uh, for in my eyes anyway, going to be the area to look to get in long again. Okay, so each one of these tails could hold up price. And I think take it off the hour, it'll be safer. This is the area that I'm more comfortable with, but these tails here could also hold up price. Okay, so what we're looking for is a long. Uh, we're not looking for the long on this break. I'd like to see a pullback into this, what my eyes at the top of the range, and uh, test that, hold it, and then get my long. Okay, so what we really hoping for is a move like this over a couple of days. That's pretty much what I'm looking for. We've got a breakout. I'm looking for the retest. Once I have a retest, we're in long, and uh, we'll take it from there. Okay, so that's my view for today. I um, hope that helps. And yeah, there's nothing really else that I can see. Uh, but to stay, it would be a good idea to watch this because I have a feeling it's going to consolidate in this area before a, another move up. So just watch the, the pre market open and then look for that entry. We've got the breakout, we should be looking for the entry now. Okay, anyway, guys, that's it for me today. I hope it helps, and I'll catch you later. Cheers for now.